Okay, now let's go right to the sculpting, but we're not done with the nail prep yet. So remember, first tip was shorten the free edge. Second tip was take off the surface shine and you can use electric file as well to prep the nails faster. Next thing is to apply dehydrator. I like to use Nail Pure Plus, which is not only dehydrating, but also a cleanse and protection. So um, it cleans the surface, it removes all excess moisture and makes the preparation so much easier. So you can use a nail wipe. This is really important to use the ones that are lint free because you don't want to end, end up with all this white fur on the nails and clean it really careful without taking the form off. Well, actually you can do this before fitting the form, but I personally prefer to do it after that because I know that sometimes while I'm cutting the form, while I'm fitting it, I can by any chance touch the natural nail plate. Oh, and by the way, once you took off the surface shine, you, as well as your client, are not allowed to touch the nail plate. Because let's just imagine, there is oil, there is dirt, moisture on top of the nail plate. So we took it off, and when we touch it, we're basically putting it back. It doesn't make sense, right? So we need to keep the nail plate completely clean. And then normally, we need to apply primer. But with NSI, I don't have to do it anymore. I'm using a secret liquid, which is primerless liquid. So that means it contains ingredients that stays for adhesion. So I will just go right to the sculpting. So I have a monomer in my deep end dish. And I will also use, for my design, I will use rose blush powder. And I will use the white powder mixed with the opal shimmer, which is basically glitter. Yes, I know that NSI have over 100 colors, but you know, I'm like every girl, even if we have 2000 colors, we still need 2000, that 2000 first color, which is not there. So that's why I took radiant white and mixed with opal shimmer. Opal shimmer is my, one of my favorite things in the world, this, oh, Unfortunately, you cannot see it, but this is a really fine glitter. So when you mix the white with the glitter, you will get a white glitter powder. Also, I had many questions about the product consistency. You asked, so let me know if some of you are still struggling with the product consistency, because I have a good tip and good exercise for you. So this exercise is really easy and even if you are not a beginner, if you are experienced nail tech, I still strongly recommend you to try this. So we will need a monomer, we will need a powder and you need to print. This is the, just the page with the circles on it. So I have large circles, smaller circles and there are small ones and also have a plastic file folder on top. So acrylic consists of two parts. First part is monomer, or also known as acrylic liquid, and polymer powder. So while mixing them together, we get a gel-like substance which cures over time in about several, like couple minutes. And after that it hardens and we get acrylic nail. So now let's try our exercise. So first I will pour the brush into the deepen dish with the monomer completely. So it's actually touching almost the metal handle. Then I will clean one side and place it into the powder with the other side. And now we have a bead. Try to get the sphere bead not flat, it's not supposed to look like a mess. In the best thing is when it looks like a sphere. Okay, and now our goal here is, so this acrylic part will completely go into these lines. So if by any chance 
you will take not enough monomer, you will, for example, clean it too much, then put the other side into the powder, and you see, now it's, we still have some white parts that are not saturated with the monomer. And when I will put it here, it will not go as the sphere. You see, it's, it's some kind of messy stuff. So this means we took not enough monomer and too much of the powder. And the opposite is when you put the brush into the monomer, clean it just a little bit, put it into the powder, and you see it's actually flowing. So that means you took too much monomer. This is the wet consistency, which is wrong. So wet consistency is wrong. Dry consistency is even worse because you just won't be able to work with it. The proper consistency me means proper ratio of acrylic of powder and monomer. So I recommend you to practice this exercise from time to time so you can get a better sense of how acrylic works. And by the way, sometimes I've seen my students cheating. So they were like taking the monomer bead and then put it in the powder, put it right here. And then they were helping themselves with the brush, like, you know, tapping from the other sides. It's pretty easy when you're working on the file folder, not on the nails. Yes, it's easy, but it doesn't make sense. The goal here to pick the bead from the beginning that will fit into these lines perfectly. So do not cheat on yourself, okay? Um, and then you will do the same with the smaller circles. So for the smaller size, you will need to do the same, but with less amount of monomer. Less amount of monomer will take a fewer amount of the powder. So this is how it works. I hope that this exercise will help you with your product consistency struggle. Now let's practice acrylic sculpting on the nails. Okay, uh, so I'm using the rose blush and I'm using also the powder that I mixed and monomer, of course. Now let's start with the free edge. Depending on the length that your client wants to make, you will choose the size of the beads. So the longer nails you want to make, the larger beads you will need. So we decided to make um, long nails this time. So that's why I'm taking a large bead. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to show you ballerina shape now, which is basically more like square, but the sides go into one point. So if you know how to sculpt square, this shape will be also pretty easy for you. And I know that most nail technicians call this shape using tips, but you already know I am a fan of forms, so it's just a lot easier for me to sculpt it using forms. Okay, so I did the first layer. This is like the base. And now I'm taking the white bead put it right on the top, put the brush upside down so it's facing my client now and stretch it all up. Do not stretch it too much so it will touch the cuticle only like till the center. And then with the whole body of my brush, I'm making the surface even. So uh, this monomer gives us an opportunity to actually enjoy this acrylic sculpting process so you have enough time to clean all that you need. And I recommend every time you start sculpting, try to sculpt the nail as best as you can so you won't have to file a lot. Now I continue sculpting, I'm taking the white with the glitter, put it on a stress area and stretch it down a little bit and stretch it up. Now
now I'm working with the body of my brush and now we need to we are doing by the way I didn't tell you we are doing baby boomer here so baby boomer is a ombre of white and natural color so I'm taking a rose blush on the top and stretching it out now carefully do the cuticle work so I'm pressing the product and stretch press and stretch this is the key to get a thin product near the cuticle and no lifting if you see that there is not enough product do not be afraid to add some right away but never ever work with a wet consistency near the cuticle area this will definitely lead so your product will actually flow and get under the cuticle and you will definitely get lifting. So I will add just a little bit product to the center to get a better ombre here. And now it is time, well, maybe, We'll check it right now to pinch the nail. So how to understand if it's right time or if it's not. Check what is the sound when you're tapping the nail. Mm -hmm. There is a sound, so that means we can pinch now. Now carefully separate the form from the nail. Hold it with your fingers and Carefully take it off. It's actually warm now. That's because polymerization process gives the heat out of the nail. So it's okay. Nothing's wrong with that. Clients with sensitive thin nails might feel this heat sometimes. And then we pinch. We can use our own nails or you can use a special tool for pinching. But for ballerina shape, we don't have to pinch it a lot just mostly in these areas. Now we need to hold it for 30 seconds and then we will file the nail and do some really design really easy. I believe that each every one of you can do it really quick. Okay now let's take a look from the side so the apex, which is the highest point of the nail, should be located right here on the center of the nail. So once we pinch the nail, well normally we do not work with just one nail, right? We go right to the next one and next one and by the time you've done all 10 nails you can come back to first one and file it. But as I'm working now with only one, I need to wait just a little bit so I can continue filing. Okay, now let's go right to the sculpting, but we're not done with the nail prep yet. So remember, first tip was shorten the free edge. Second tip was take off the surface shine and you can use electric file as well to prep the nails faster. Next thing is to apply dehydrator. I like to use Nail Pure Plus white fur on the nails and clean it really careful without taking the form off. Well, actually you can do this before fitting the form, but I personally prefer to do it after that because I know that sometimes while I'm cutting the form, while I'm fitting it, I can by any chance touch the natural nail plate. Oh, and by the way, once you took off the surface shine, you, as well as your, which is not only dehydrating, but also a cleanse and protection, so um, it cleans the surface, it removes all excess moisture and makes the preparation so much easier. So
So you can use a nail wipe. This is really important to use the ones that are lint free because you don't want to end, end up with all this. So that means it contains ingredients that stays for adhesion. So I will just go right to the sculpting. So I have a monomer in my deep end dish and I will also use for my design, I will use rose blush powder and I will use the white powder mixed with the opal shimmer, which is basically glitter. Our clients are not allowed to touch the nail plate because let's just imagine there is oil, there is dirt, moisture on top of the nail plate. So we took it off and when we touch it, we're basically putting it back. It doesn't make sense, right? So we need to keep the nail plate completely clean. And then normally we need to apply primer. But with NSI, I don't have to do it anymore. I'm using a secret liquid, which is primerless liquid. 